Okay, so first of all, I will click on this cell here and then hover my mouse over the bottom right hand corner until it turns into a black cross. Then I'll click and drag this down in order to use the autofill option. And this will make the date increase by one day each time. But if I click on this box here at the bottom, I have a few other options. So I can make it fill by weekdays or months or years. Then I'll type in the date here, the 1st of January 2022. Then select this cell and I will change the number formatting. I will use a custom number format and it will be day, month, year, and then hours and minutes, and OK. Then I'll hold down control and I'll hover my mouse over the bottom right hand corner again and click and drag down in order to get a copy of this date. Then I will change this to the number one to get it to increase by one hour. Then I'll select both of these cells and this time when I click and drag down, the autofill will copy the gap in between the first two values. So it will increase by one hour each time. Then I will copy these two values at the top and this time I will do equals this cell here plus one. And in Excel, one day is equal to the number one. So this will make it so the date increases by one day each time. Then if I wanted to increase by one hour, I will do equals this cell here plus one and divided by 24. Because each day in Excel is equal to the number one and then there are 24 hours in a day. So this will make it increase by one hour each time. Then I'll copy this again. And this time we'll do equals this cell here and then we will add a time to it. And I will make the hour zero and the minute 15 and then the second zero and close brackets and enter. And this will make it so that it increases by 15 minutes each time. Now we can also use a sequence formula. So I will have 15 rows and one column and the start will be a date. And the year will be 2022 and the month will be January and then the day will be the first and close brackets. And then I will put in a step of one and close brackets and this will make it increase by one day each time. It doesn't have the right date formatting, so I will copy that from here. And now we can see the date is increasing by one day each time. Now, if I want to get this to increase by one hour, then I need to take this step here of one and divide it by 24 and enter. And now again, it doesn't have the right number formatting, so I will copy it from here and we can see that it is increasing by one hour each time. Now, if we want it to increase by 15 minutes, I need to divide this by four because there are 60 minutes in an hour and so 15 minutes can go into that four times. And this here represents the hour, so I need to divide that by four. And now it will increase by 15 minutes each time. I can also add a time to the start. So I will add a time of one hour and zero minutes and zero seconds and close brackets and enter. And now it's starting at one on the 1st of January instead of starting at midnight. Now I will copy the date from here and select all of these cells and then go to fill and fill series. And I will leave all of these as the default options. We will fill the series in columns. The type is date, the date unit is day, and the step value is one and okay. 
and this makes the date increase by one day each time. Now I will copy this date again and select the date at the bottom and change the formatting to general. And this is the number that Excel is using to represent this date. So this time I will select the date here and go back to fill series. And now we will change it to fill series in columns. The type I will change to linear. The step value is one and then the stop value is whatever this number is here. So it is four, four, five, seven, six and OK. And this again makes the date increase by one day each time. But this time I didn't have to select the correct number of cells in advanced. Now let's say you wanted to have all of the hours in a year. So that would be 365 days in a year and 24 hours in a day. So that gets us to the number 8760. So I will delete that and then put the number one in here. It automatically puts in the custom number formatting, so I'll change that to general. And then we'll go to fill series again. And this time I will fill series in columns. The type will stay as linear, the step value will stay as one, and the stop value will be 8760 and OK. And now I have the series of numbers going down to 8760. So I will now copy these two values here and paste them next to these numbers. Then I will select both of these and hover over the bottom right hand corner until my mouse turns into a black cross. And then I will double click to fill this series down. And so it's increasing by one hour each time. However, there is a problem with this because by the time we get down to the bottom, the time is a bit off from what we actually want it to be. So if you are going to do a long series like this, I wouldn't use the autofill option. I would use a different method, for example, taking this cell here and then adding a time to it. So we'll add one hour and zero minutes and zero seconds and close brackets and enter. Then hover over the bottom right hand corner again and double click to fill in this series. And now when we get down to the bottom, we end up with the date and time that we actually want. OK, so in this video, I have shown you different methods for filling a series of dates and times in Excel. And that is everything.